What's uh -huh. going on, everybody? She's the 9000X here with a pre-recorded video reacting to the state of play. There's like two minutes left, and I have no real expectations. If you're seeing this video, there's something good involved. I am here with uh, Danny and Robin. Say hi. Hello. Why are you locked in the bathroom? Because she had to try getting a job. Oh. Anyway. So, uh, <laughs> Sony's kind of been dropping the ball since the PlayStation dropped. So Sony's kind of been dropping the ball since like the end of the PS4's lifespan, and I have a whole other Nintendo uh, <coughs> state of play. That wasn't even intentional. That was a genuine slip up. State of direct. I had a whole other uh, state of play recorded uh, and a reaction dead. to it. Uh, the reason why I never uploaded it is because the state of play sucked, and also my commentary sucked. Hopefully, this time now that I've got like uh, people here. It won't be as bad. That being said, there is only, like, 55 seconds, like a minute. I have no expectations. Does anyone else have any expectations? No. I expect to be, like, underwhelmed. Yeah, I'm just gonna turn this up on my end real quick. I expect to exist, but only temporarily. I am, I am fully expecting to be underwhelmed. I want to see something on Ratchet & Clank, like a proper... Uh, no, I think we already have a proper release date. Give me the name of the girl, Lombax. Wombo. Her name is Wombo, the Lombax. That, that's, 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 actually, no, I'm gonna turn this back down a little. There we go, that's, that's better. Yeah, I'm expecting... I'm, I'm expecting this, I'm expecting the name of the female Lombax and nothing else. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Give me video games. Zero. Just... Well, does it still start in the same way? That's the real question. Really Copy to teen. Rated right, role playing teens. Oh no, it's gonna be edgy. Oh no. Why are the That's teens PlayStation playing? 5. Yeah. I hope it's not fair Crash. Crash on PlayStation 5? Okay. Yeah, crash on PlayStation 5. Well, look, it's Mr. I'm not in Smash yet. I, I, I need to turn this down a little bit more. Awesome updates and additions. There we go. Coming to the Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time experience on PlayStation 5. Okay, so they, they're just, it's going to PlayStation 5. Creative producer at Toys for Bob. Anyone see, anyone see this coming? Uh, yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, I felt like there was gonna be something. It's like, they wouldn't not do it considering it came out towards the tail end of the, uh, PS4's lifespan. You know what's funny? The last state of play started with the exact same game. Is it possible you can turn the volume up on I can, I can turn the volume up here, but the thing is it ends up being too loud for me. Uh, I've turned up Google's volume on my end. Uh, so I, I don't know how loud this is going to be in comparison to me. Uh, this uh, it's, it's pretty, it's, is that better? Good for me. Okay. Yeah. With the but, but, hey, 60 yes. but hey, it's it's not a cheats the thing if there's not like various technical issues. The dual sense wireless controllers bring adaptive triggers to your fingertips. Okay, so it's uh blast of Neocortex's DNA changing. So basically it's hey, look at what the PS5 can do. Adaptive triggers legitimately annoying me. They're just frustrating. I want to try it, but I don't have a PS5, and I'm probably not getting one for another year, so... Crash Bandicoot Universe? Scout was... Fuck those guys. Okay. Compatible headset? Yeah. I mean, there's, I'm pretty sure there's a PlayStation headset that, like... Bandicoot Master. But should our genetically mutated marsupial lose his way? Leverage PlayStation oh, cool. activity cards to track your progress. So that's what like every other PS5 game does, I think. Flashback yep. levels and boss fights. Okay. The flashback levels with the polygon crash looks neat, but uh, I'm not a crash guy, so uh from the PlayStation 4 and use the activity cards to get to 106%. Oh, okay. And one more thing. If you own the PS4 version of the game, an upgrade option is available. Check out the PlayStation As expected. Details. Okay, I was your first for a second I thought they said you would get it for free. There's no better time that's to that's what it that's what they're saying. It's about time on PlayStation. If you okay. if you own the PS4 version, you get the PS5 version for free. Well, that's okay. Because that's how they do their digital updates, upgrades. Welcome back, Crash. The gang's all here on today's new edition of State of Play. We've a cool intro. Updates lined up for you. 
Now, are they still... Does it still look like a Nintendo Direct format-wise? No. That's pretty cool. The PS5 console this spring from PlayStation Studios. This is Returnal. Hey, everyone. We at Housemark are excited to give you this sneak peek at Returnal. Uh, this is another one that's, um... Returnal, you will play a Selene. Looks cool, but... Returnal? Yeah, yeah it looks cool, but it's just like, eh. After receiving a mysterious eh. signal, white shadow... Mm. Players will explore this inscrutable dark planet in search for answers. I, and I remember when I first saw this and I thought, oh my god, is that a uh, PT? And then it wasn't. Uh, is there a cat game we're supposed to be getting for PS5? Yes. What about the cat game? I don't remember what it's called though. Uh, uh, near Cat Tomato? Near, near the Cat's Tomatoes. You, it's, you gotta be a cat, you gotta go near your tomatoes. That's it, that's the whole game. Beautiful, 10 out of 10. I mean, this is looking funky with, like, Toe-style gameplay, but 3 environment. Like, yeah, lots of lots of projectiles. Oh, no! Is this the Dark Souls of Shooters? Yes. So there was some sort of death mechanic, and I didn't hear what they said. Every time you die and restart, the world will change. The map will be different. Enemies will appear in new locations. I mean, that's kind of... So that's, that's kind just of, a roguelike. Yeah, also, that's kind of screwy for people like me who, um... I, I, I die a lot because then I learn the patterns. I'd probably be good at Dark Souls if I could ever want to play the game, but, uh... I'm not going to. Uh... Too frustrating for me. Yeah. I, I do get frustrated, so, like... Things changing like that would also probably frustrate me. Just look at Metal Sonic. That's it. That's all I. That's all I gotta say to that one. I'm honestly kind of interested in this. Does look, I don't really care about it. It looks neat, but like I'm probably not gonna. Also, it's uh, exclusive to PS5, which means I'm not playing it for a while. I've got a PS5, so it's. Not I know. Yeah. That can't be here. Says who? I, I am reliving my memories in that house, but I don't know dementia. <laughs> They're corroded. In Some jokes. Missing are the yeah. Manufactured. Uh huh. But I can remember the torment, feeling like I was. So this this is more story thing, right? This feels like yep. it's more story stuff. So what's behind the door? Yeah, it, Just it's. Go to PT. I thought it was because the wall looked very similar yeah. for like half a second. Okay, that's definitely a video game. Video yeah. games, you play them on a console. I did ask it to give me video games, so Eternal like. Lands on April 30th. Uh, I'm glad they are giving us video games. Yeah. Oh, that's next month. No, yeah. a month off next. From there. Oh my god, it's the dodgeball. It's the dodgeball game. game called Knockout City. It's the dodgeball right. game from the goddamn Nintendo Direct that like where the casting yeah, couch looks more so interesting. Cool. My, the, my trailer is better than the actual game. Hi, I'm Josh from Bell and Games. I thought I was done. I thought I could escape. And we recently announced Knockout City. I can't believe it. It's Fallout Dodgeball. Uh, Fortnite Dodgeball so even. Where, where did I get Fallout from? Battles. I was thinking more Splatoon dodgeball, at least the art style. I, I got it from the glider, you know? Uh, it's like Fortnite Splatoon dodgeball. Yeah. If the stages remind me of Splatoon. Okay, I'll be honest, if this is free, I might try it. Maybe. Uh, $60. Yeah, yeah no. Yeah, no. Okay, yeah. Fake like, if it, if it is that much, I'm not trying it. But uh, if it's free or they do, like, a free weekend, I might give it a shot. A last-second dodge is the difference between getting knocked out and staying in the fight. Keep your wits about you and outplay your opponent to break... Oh my god, it literally is Fortnite! It's got a storm wall and everything! Yeah, they said shrink play zone. Let's jump into Team KO. Yeah, no, but, like, it's it's got the, like, the wall and everything. That's what I'm saying. It, it's not it, that you can pass through. It's like the storm. It's not, like, a, a solid wall is what I'm saying. Back alley brawl. It's not a new map. I was going to say, you can't really call it, like, a new map if it's, like, a new game. You can just call it a map. 
Each map features a unique mechanic. In Back Alley Brawl, you can hop into a tube. Futurama tubes! Or use them to sneak up on your opponents. No, they're, they're just uh, the tubes from Futurama. You can literally be they are. The ball new New York. For your teammate. Become the ball. Become ball. Become round. Duck will be happy about that. With an ultimate throw and the land in a oh yeah, he likes balls. I'm not. I'm not even gonna. I wasn't even trying. I know. This, world over the last four years. this took four years? May 21st, and we'd love your help really? Stretch of yeah. I mean, I, I don't want to bad talk to them, but this is like a grad June project. Like, I can, I, I can see if it was like two years, but it's like, I feel like I can't believe this taking four years. Yeah. I suppose the engine might have taken a while. Okay, next. Yeah. The next, come on, skip, skip, we don't want <clears> this. <throat> There we go. Time for I was gonna say that that end screen lingered a little too long. Look at an upcoming PS5 game from the team. Then that's it. That's the entire stage play. What's this? This could be interesting. Ooh. Ooh. I thought this might have been the cat uh, the cat game, but it's not. Uh huh. I feel like this is like some sort of martial arts thing. Yeah. The art style is interesting. It's yeah. I, I like. I'm liking how this. I'm liking how this Ooh. looks already. Yeah. Kind of hoping this is gameplay right here and there's like really fluid combat. Yeah. Yeah. Weapons, weapons and stuff. Oh my god, this actually looks really good already. Yeah. Wait, what? He was in a coma for years. Ten years. No, we can't. Can't read. So do you do you like become a different character every time you die? Does time pass when you die? Hmm. Just the combat. Oh yeah, because it looks like you're kind of getting older. Sifu. Sifu. All right, all right. I'm I'm sold. I'm sold. Okay. It's coming that out on PS4, cool. so I don't got it. Don't gotta get a PS5. Coming to the PS5 console later this year. And also the PS4, so I don't gotta get a PS5. This one is one that looks good. This is one that looks good as well. Yeah. It's just Gravity Russian space, isn't it? Yeah, but that's the cool thing. Space! Space! And also the art style. The art style is... Yeah, the art style is pretty... looks really nice. Hey everyone, I'm Alex Preston. Hello, Alex Preston. Hello. This is the team behind Hyperlight Drifter. Today, I'm here to show I have you never actually played Hyperlight Drifter. That's probably one that I should get around to at some point. I think I've had a lot of Yeah, but I did, don't think I had Epic at that point. 3D platformer focused on speed, movement, and fluidity. Yeah. The game is set inside a giant black hole known as the Ultra Void, which has been consuming everything in its path. Okay. You play as Ray, a daring void runner. Ray? Ray Skywalker? Terrifying anomaly Ray who? As a last ditch effort to save her home world. Hey man. Ray is extremely agile, able to speed across the world with abilities akin to skating. Okay, this and actually looks clouds, really nice. Okay, yeah. In our huge world. So, so it's basically just <laughs> fluid platformer. At its core, solar Kind of like the last section of Journey, which is good. Ray has everything good. she needs to flow through the dangerous and unique world. <laughs> Or a, or a Sonic game, but like, not really, if you know what I mean. Yeah. yeah. Like, I definitely want to play this because, like, it looks beautiful. It As you looks like it planet, plays yeah. well. You find yourself face to face with grotesque and violent creatures. Our combat system is simple, pretty cool. fast, and fluid. Filter combat system is I think you, pu you, pu you push button. Yeah. As you explore Sample most games. No yeah. brain. Don't, don't have to use brain. I, I think you will have to use brain, but not the well, combat. Well, you probably will, but like... Yeah, timing. Yeah, timing, timing and platforming. It's a platformer, so I'm, I can't play it. Yeah. Okay. Definitely getting, like, Gravity Rush vibes from the creatures. Eventually need to face the massive I might play it. If, That's just a grim If I had a, if I had a PS4. Yeah. Key to her quest. Yeah, that that does look very grinish, and I only ever seen like a couple. Yeah. Oh, that's that's neat. Shadow of the Colossus. Whoa. Great. Solar Ash is Heart Machine's vision of the adventure platformer, the giant spaces, All right. the feel of All movement, right. the flow of combat, 
and the give me a release date. Atop enormous beasts all come together to bring players something we think yeah. is incredibly yeah. unique and more mm -hmm. importantly, fun. What? Okay, fun. Yep, cool. This game release date. Is a labor of love yeah. for everyone on the heart. I get it. You put a lot of passion into it. Give me a release date. PS5 and PS4 later this year. Or like just go fuck kid. yourself. <laughs> I'm kidding. This do this does look fun. I, I definitely want to pick that up when it comes out. Games, this next one is oh, I'm not a fan no. of I'm not a fan no. of scary games. I am. Yes. Oh. Is this FNAF? Is this FNAF? You can tell already. Pathetic. No. Okay. You are more. Are you ready? Not really. Oh, he, he died and he's gone. Oh, she cute. Yeah, yeah, I'll give you that. I sure hope she doesn't die. Yeah, she's probably already dead by the time you start the game. Uh, no, she's one of the main characters you play as. We've confirmed that already based on what little we know. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. I don't... I don't care. <laughs> I, I'm having five trouble at, getting into it. Five Nights at Shreddy's, the breakfast cereal. Uh, I'm probably gonna play this. If you end up releasing this, uh, JW's gonna pop off. You out of here. You and me. Shout out to our fans. Shout out to the subs. Shout out to JW. Specifically. But, uh... Yeah. Alright. I mean, aesthetically, it doesn't look bad, but it's like, I just can't. Aesthetically, it looks really nice, but... Well, it's the first free roam Final Fantasy Freddy's game, which is interesting. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like it's wow. Willy's Wonderland, the game looks great. Uh, where's the Nicolas Cage mode, where they are running from you? Give yeah. me a right. Let me let me rephrase this. Give me a Nicolas Cage mode where I just get to murder the fuck out of the animatronics, and I will play this. Okay. Please make a Willy's Wonderland game. Okay. Some people are gonna be happy about that. There is more going on here than you realize. There probably is. I don't care unless I get to fight them. Let me fight them. Shooty gun, shooty gun. That Scott, stop, stop being a coward. Let me fight them. Nights at Freddy's security breach. Let me. Up next, let's take a tour Ooh. of the Odd World Soulstorm. Uh, Soulstorm, yeah. I have Munch's Odyssey on I Xbox. Just make a Willy's Wonderland game and pull it Nicholas Uncaged. Today, I'm yes. going to take you on a brief tour of our newest game, Oddworld Soulstorm. They've always known they keep saying that like this game's supposed to be like funny, but every trailer I've seen has been like grimdark and serious. Reprise the role of Abe, accidental hero turned unlikely leader of an emerging revolution. As you do battle through weird and wonderful environments... Yeah, side-scrolling platformery kind of things. That's what Abe's was. And go bold. Uh... We really wanted to bring Munch's Odyssey was a 3D one, I think. Really? Yeah. Adds much more depth I might not be remembering it right. This sense of connection is also reinforced through the use 2. of... 2.90. The so there's, like, foreground and background feedback, stuff that you can, you'll now like, interact with. Feel Abe's heartbeat in high alert and suspenseful situations. Oh, that would be... That's gonna be, like, a, a thing. There like, well if the control, like, pulses. ...that you must try to save along the way. Yeah. But they are far more than helpless workers looking to be saved. Okay. When used effectively, you'll be able to solve puzzles, harness their combined... Oh, so it's like that one mechanic in LEGO games. ...they need to fight yeah. alongside you. Yeah, okay. I, I I can drive with that. Extra hands will be needed as you face off against an array as of meat shields. enemies that will stop at nothing to find yeah. and end Abe once and for all. Damn, I can't believe they said they assassinated Abraham Lincoln again. <laughs> much larger threat. We gave Abe the ability to Sekiro, Abraham Lincoln dies twice from his surroundings yeah. and use them to craft an impressive arsenal of his own that he can share. Oh, crafting, with crafting mechanics, neat. You can also play as I remember my cousin had the the original Abe's Odyssey chaos. on uh yes. yeah no he actually had it on a PS1 emulator for our shamanic protagonist okay. possession 
This mystical power allows you to take control of your foes and use oh. their strengths and weapons against them, or use them to gain access. Or to just, or just like run them straight into the fire, like that one guy. The Odd World universe is a diverse place, and this means that there are some environments and situations that require a little more thought. Patience and <laughs> sneaky, You'll sneaky. Find dark and dangerous caves, heavily guarded industrial yeah. sites, and sneaky, sneaky. Lands. Here I'm is sneaky lots little of opportunities goblin. for you to test I'm your sneaky skills little goblin. Ways to I've always loved the art style of um Odd World. Yeah. Easy. If being hunted by an mm. army backed by a shady and wealthy organization isn't bad enough, there are also more hmm. dangerous something, the something metaphor for cap capitalism. Traps, trials against mm. swarming dark. They're literally trying to eat you in the first game. Yeah. Dodged, crossed, yeah, okay. That's cool. Abe's journey is one of hope, freedom, and truth. Is that a is that a DHD from Stargate? To discover in a world full of lies. And we've been able to bring our characters the, the, the like part, never They keep showing the part where she, like, cuts the mouth bands. Where he cuts the mouth bands with a fucking the knife. And, and that always makes me uncomfortable to look at. Along the way. And we can't wait to see what you will do. All right, let's go. When's it coming out? April 6th. That's I, not too far. I don't know if I'm going to end up playing that, like, on release. But, like, it does look it interesting. I'll get around to it eventually. That was the latest on I don't like him staring into my soul. Here's some exciting news. Active PlayStation Plus members Ooh. will get the PS5 version for no extra oh. cost starting in April. PS5 version for no PS5 extra PS5 version? In April. You had to like double back and remind it was the PS5 version. It's time to catch up with Kina Bridge of Spirits. A this looks okay, but not too fast. This isn't the one that I was thinking of. The one I was thinking of was the Pathless, and I think that's already come out. I was about to say this. This, this is one that I was interested in from last time, but uh, it's not. Yeah. Look at him though. This is just Ghibli the video game. Yeah, but like, look at him. Look at the tiny little boy. He kind of chonky. I love him. He he yeah. he he chonky. He tiny. He chonky. That's it. He, he just has two plus eyes from Train of Dragon. True. I do like the, I do like the uh, art style. The, the art for a lot of the games that get shown in State of Play tends to be really good. Yeah. Because I think we've kind of moved past the everything's got to be gritty, grim, dark, and like a shade of brown. Yeah. Yeah, the 2010s was a bad time for video games, honestly. Yeah. Gr Gritty Grimdark has got to be a shade of grey or a shade of brown. Our village is bound to the shrines, but that power fades. So, hmm. This is another one that's just like, eh, looks cool, but probably won't play it ever. Unless this trailer sells me like it kind of is. I feel like I might want to play this now. I don't know, I'm very indecisive here. Yeah. I've been going back and forth on it a whole lot. Trapped spirits linger here. I just think it like looks Damn. really nice. It exactly. does look very, very pretty. Yeah. If it's on PlayStation Plus, I might grab it. If this comes out on PC, then I might get it sooner rather than later. Yeah. You have to go now. I just want to get a PS5. But... Again, we've kind of acknowledged that yeah. one. Okay, so it's Breath of the yeah. Wild, because it's got the slowdown with the bow. Uh. Right, okay, now I'm now I'm seeing why my interest is picking up, because it plays it looks yeah. like it might play like Breath this of the Wild. Looks really nice. It does look good. I'm it like, does look yeah. good. Ooh. Yeah, accident was five okay. years ago. It was not your fault. Okay. That's... Oh, God. Oh, good God. Oh, God. Oh, oh no. Oh, what the hell? Crunchy. Okay. Okay. Getting a little bit more sold on this now. Yeah. That's like Soulsborne kind of stuff. I hope it's not that difficult. <laughs> At least. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. August 24th. Uh, I've got time. Really I've got time I, to think about it. Yeah, I got time. I got time. Stylish new look at Death Loop. A PS5 Oh, oh this is fun. Yeah, this one. Huh? 
This is another one that's pretty good. There's no never here. Something, Just something, Fortnite joke. And the rest of these maniacs. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't this made by Bethesda? Uh, not sure. Probably. I'm pretty they sure. Do a lot outside of what gonna, you'd expect. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure this is made by Bethesda, and then, like, yeah, it's got the Bethesda logo. It's made by Bethesda, but then the Xbox buyout happened, and it's like, yeah, this is probably the last Bethesda game that's gonna release on PlayStation for a while. Yeah. Ironically, again, the art of this game also looks pretty neat. I'm also liking this music, but I feel like I've got to be kind of like talking to like drown it out because I feel like it's also copyrighted, you know. Uh, so I, I might, I, I might in a in an editing, I might in editing just like uh, kind of mute some of this part. Yeah. Well, hopefully YouTube will have a think have a system in it for me. Very James Bondy visuals. Uh, yeah. Kind of got to kind of got to keep the words going so I don't get the. Uh, yeah. uh, like, you know, I, uh, I like games that like work the respawn system into the story. Yeah, like this is interesting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think Destiny Two does that as well. It does. Art wise, yeah. it's very nice as well. Art wise is yeah. nice. Uh, that's okay. Shooter, which I really appreciate. I really, I really like how they're doing like the trailer, like this stuff. It looks like a. It kind of looks like the intro for a it's, James it's Bond kinda, movie. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of James Bondy, but it has its own kind of style. To it. Flair. It's got a nice style. Yeah. Damn! You just. You don't even try and shoot her. You just yeet the bottle out of. Damn. Damn. Yeah, this looks pretty interesting. Okay. Yeah. I'm. I'm I. I, I want to play this, but it's like. This. When when is like, it coming out again? Because uh, I'm pretty sure this got delayed. Uh, kind of got again keeping the words going. Still liking the visuals. When's it coming out? Aeon. I'm pretty sure that's like the company name. Something something Illuminati joke with a triangle. Okay. I want to know how like creative you can get with some of it. Because like some of these powers look neat. And I want to see how they affect the gameplay, and I want to know how you how creative you can get with, like the respawn system. Drown the music out. Oh, hey, Resident Evil Laser Corridor. Hey. Yeah. All right. Release date. Uh, didn't I say there was an alternate game mode where you play as the girl hunting you down? I think so. Rude. Damn. Okay. Yeah. When, when's it coming out? If at first you don't succeed, yeah, okay, there's the pun, pun line. Release oh, yeah, date. I think they've show, showed some of this before. Right? No, nope. oh, oh, not even a, not even a like release a year. Update for one of 2020's most celebrated no, okay. games. Okay, there's another Final Fantasy? PS5 yeah. Final Fantasy VII remake? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, alright. I've been, I need to play the... Yeah, yeah, footage captured on PS5, yeah. so it's being worked on for PS5. I think it'll come out on PS5, so that when I eventually get a PS5, I can get it. I do want to play this eventually. Because, yeah. like, the, the small amount I managed to play during um, a Comic-Con was yeah. really fun. It's like, okay, yeah, yeah give me more I of this. As well. Yeah, because you were in yeah. line with me. Yeah. Honestly, it's kind of, it's all, honestly kind of stellar to see that it, you know, came out. Yeah. Oh hey, it's the well, Smash characters. Smash characters, yeah. yeah. Wow, Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts Four looks it. great. My name is I don't know anything about Final Fantasy, so I can't really comment on this. Uh, I mean, this is just a port. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. I don't know anything about Final Fantasy, so I can't really comment yeah. on anything outside of, wow, this looks cool. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get this when I get a PS5. Sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, it's nice to meet you. This is the point where they tell us, like, oh, by the way, uh, part two is in development and is, like, coming out in a couple of years. Yeah, because I was gonna wonder how long it takes for part two to come out. Because it took them a long time to make this, I think. In in before Final Fantasy VII remake part two isn't like part two it's just it's just Final Fantasy VII reboot or some shit because uh, don't they do like weird timeline yeah, things yeah, with us? The story the story is like yeah. completely diverging. 
Yeah. Like a different timeline or something. I think these are new sections, actually. Oh. Yeah. I don't think it plays you theme, the PS4 yeah, version. So. I don't... I, like I said, I don't know enough about, like, A, the original Final Fantasy VII remake, or yeah. B, like, Final Fantasy VII yeah. as a whole. Final Fantasy is a series that I've never really gotten into, but want to. Just haven't really, like... Yeah. Yeah. I... I just want to play this game. This game looks... This game looks fun. It felt fun. Yeah. Fun. Fun. Yeah. And also, again, it looks good. Yeah. Also, like, Keeper in HD. Keeper in HD. Also a good point. Oh. That, that, that normally doesn't lead to anything good. What are you doing, doing that, Step Bro? Remake, Remake Integrate. integrate? Uh-huh. Yeah, that, that's a new edition. Ooh. Topless Cloud. What the fuck? What? What was that? I don't know. The fuck is going they're, on probably, they're probably about to explain that. Available... So that was June, I think. Monkey Flip! Monkey Flip! Club flip. Club flip. Graphic. Oh, now they're telling us it's coming to PlayStation 5. With well, a. The PlayStation 5 logo didn't show up. Yeah. They didn't have a P5. Whoa, okay. the game looks better on the new console. Who would have thought? thunk it. Oh, look at that. Ray tracing and also smoother gameplay. Tifa. Tifa. HD. Okay, so it looks like it's just ray it's tracing, brighter, as well, I brighter guess. ray yeah. tracing, and yeah. also runs at 60 frames a second. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah. fog effects. Those are definitely some fog effects. Yeah, I guess. Cloud oh. dancing. Cloud dancing. Oh, mid cloud. Hey, cloud. Mid cloud. Lighting. Congratulations, you're telling us the ways that the PS5 version is better. You kind of already just did that. I mean, we'd buy a PS5 if, you know, you made it possible. I mean, yeah. I, I, don't know how many I don't know how many times they, they've they probably already mentioned ray tracing. I think we know what ray tracing is it, by now. I was gonna say, it's not the fact I'm that it, it's not Sony's fault. It's the, it's the fucking scalpers. Quality of life. Yeah, Graphics optimization. Yeah. Well, okay, okay, okay. Fuck scalpers. Uh, Okay. That what? So it a new difficulty setting of some sort? Uh, it yeah. makes it more like the original game. Classic, okay. classic mode. Oh my god, it's just Fire Emblem. Oh my god. Oh, a, ca a, a photo oh, mode. Oh, okay. that's nice. oh no, that's awful. Th People that's gonna be on um, so many upskirts. So many upskirts. Ah, uh, yes. Yep. I mean, no, I thought I mean... So it's just... New episode beat. Okay, so it's not a new yeah, part. Yeah. Now, will they make this DLC for the PS4 version, or will this be PS5 only? That's the real question. Yeah. <laughs> you see that? Yes. Yes, I did. That's how ninjas do it. Yep. Now, what was that other thing? You're not gonna tell us. Got it. I bet you can watch that trailer again. back later, because um, there yeah. was some funky stuff. It, okay, so you can upgrade... You can upgrade for free. Okay, but new featuring, new episode featuring Yuffie, specifically okay, available so, yeah, for purchase yeah. for update to the PS5. Yeah, so it's only PS5. Yeah, okay. The worldwide... That's the American that day, the isn't it? So 10th of June. Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate. Coming so are they just going to increment it by episode? And they're just going to keep adding it? So we're going to get Final Fantasy VII Remake yeah, Integrate that's Deluxe? Show. That's it? Oh, that's it? I mean, that was pretty good for, like... No Ratchet and Clank. <sighs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> no Ratchet and Clank? This is never going to see the light of day, is it? Uh, oh, that was... Yeah, that was just over half an hour long. Well, I may as well record the outro to this uh, video. Thank you, everybody, for watching this video. Please uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Join the Discord server. There should be a link in the description. And also follow me on Twitter, at Jason9000X. Uh, and also subscribe to the channel that I already said, because I do live streams every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, 
I don't know if this video will ever see the light of day. Bye. Bye.